I have the entire Communist Manifesto summarized here on page 12. Now, in the middle 1800s, somebody asked Karl Marx, what would you need if you were going to start a communist government from scratch? Just clear the playing field, blank slate, you're going to build it from the ground up. What are you going to need? What are the things that you would want to have in order to make this a perfect communist government? The Communist Manifesto is the answer. It's not very long. Basically just a term paper. Read it. Why? Because I want you to be a communist? No. I want you to know how they are attacking you. You have to understand the enemy. The ten planks of the Communist Manifesto. Plank number one. Abolition of private property. No property, no rights. If I stand up on a soapbox and I say, I'm going to start a government where I'm going to take all of your rights away, how many people are going to volunteer? Nobody with half a brain. So now Karl Marx stands in a box and says, I'm going to start a new government and we're going to take everybody's property away. They're signing up like flies. I mean, they're just, yeah, yeah, pick me, pick me. Let's see if they have now. You know, that basically the problem is you don't understand that property and rights are related. If they take your property, you have no rights. And once you understand it, then you understand why communism is evil. It's not just a personal opinion, it's evil. We're taking your rights away. Now, the other nine planks to the Communist Manifesto are basically just methods for doing the first thing. How are we going to take your rights, uh, property away? Well, number two is a heavy progressive income tax. A progressive income tax means the more money you make, the higher the percentage. Do we have a progressive income tax in the United States? Yes. Can you say IRS? They don't put the percentages. They change it and they convert it. If you make between 5000 and 10000 this is how much you pay. You make between 10 and 15 this is how much you pay. And they give you the number. Well, get your calculator and figure it out. The more money you make, the higher the percentage. What do you think the highest percentage the IRS has ever collected. Right now, I think the top percent is about 33%. What do you think the maximum was that IRS has ever collected in history? 98. 98%. How did you know that? I don't remember reading it somewhere. Okay. Between 1941 and 1942, during World War II, there were some people who were taxed 98%. That's almost all. <laughs> How come we didn't have another American Revolution? The hell with the Germans. I'm going to get my gun and start fighting here. You're going to take 98% of my stuff? You're going to have to take it. If you think you're big enough to take it, come right on ahead. But I'm not going to give it up. That's ridiculous. Uh, ab abolition of all rights of inheritance. If your parents die, the government is going to take half. Why? What did they do to get half? They just want to make sure that your parents don't leave you a million dollars so that you can get more and more money. It's a lot easier to become a multi-millionaire if mom and dad leave you one to start with. We don't want that to happen. Uh, confiscation of all property of emigrants and rebels. You ever fly internationally? You got to fill out a card. If you're carrying more than ten thousand dollars, they'll take it. You want to leave the United States and go live someplace else? Goodbye. Leave all your money here. I have friends that want to move to New Zealand. They are trying to figure out a way to put their money in an offshore account so they can keep their money. A central bank. We're going to talk about the Federal Reserve. We can go right on down the line. Ten out of ten 
items in the Communist Manifesto are here in the United States right now. Did you know that you live in a communist country? Are you glad that you live in a communist country? What are you going to do about it? We've got to draw the line somewhere. 